This is Crime, Mr. Wade, bringing you the stories. Stay tuned for a lot more. As you see, this is the lake next to the cemetery. It's lurky. It's lurky. A lot of ducks, but beautiful cemetery, as we see. We're gonna go in there and try to find the grave of a little miss loved one that's missed because of a murderer and took her life at the age of seven. Stay tuned. If you were able to see the governor and talk to her about this, what would you say? I'd ask her how she would feel if it was her family. In a Coin 6 exclusive investigation, we're talking to the family of a murder victim after one of her killers was set free by Oregon's governor. Kate Brown is giving hundreds of inmates convicted as juveniles the chance to apply for early release. It Mr. Wade here and Mrs. Crime. We're out here at a cemetery in Astoria, Oregon, called the Ocean View. Now, we're here to give respect to a little girl that was seven years old that was murdered by a serial killer that was once out here in Astoria. Hopefully we find her because we came a long ways to come out here to visit her grave. Right now, it's about 71 degrees out here. Usually it's cold, but it's 71 degrees today. They have a lot of ducks out here, and this is the thing they have for the Ocean View Cemetery. So, hopefully, Mr. Wade finds the grave. Stay tuned. Patrick Harnett was 16 when he killed Ashley Carlson in Astoria in 1999. He was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Now, 24 years later, he's perhaps the most infamous killer getting a chance to convince the parole board to set him free. <laughs> convince the parole board to set him free. That's after former governor Kate Brown used her commutation powers to give dozens of violent offenders who committed their crimes as kids the opportunity to convince the pro board their minds have matured and they're no longer a danger. Mr. Wade here and Mrs. Crime. We're out here in Astoria, Oregon, and I got this story to tell you guys about finally. It's about a guy named Patrick Harnan. Now, he later changed his name while he was in prison for life. Now, what he did was right here you have Ashley Ann Carson. She was seven years old and she was murdered by this man right here, Patrick. He was 16 years old at the, at the time and she was seven. So he murdered her, put her body in floorboards underneath his bedroom because he had a makeshift type of bedroom, they explained. So he put her body in a makeshift floor underneath his makeshift bedroom in the floorboards. And him telling the authorities and everybody else that was investigating him said that he thought about when he would take the body of Miss Ashley out of the floor, he thought about actually molesting the body and raping the body. Now, he never said if he did or didn't, but that's what he thought of. Sick in the head, right? At the age of 16. So he murdered Ashley and she was seven years old. Seven years old. Haven't even got started in life yet. But this man did this. Now, to make a story even more, he was looking for her for a while. So they go out and start doing a search. Police got people that wanted to go help out. This man actually went out when he was 16 and actually participated in a search party for Miss Ashley, whom was in his bedroom floor. How sick can that be? 
You out here walking around helping the mom, the dad, the family, the, the friends, the neighborhood look for this little poor seven year old girl and you know where she is the whole time. So how he got caught was there's another guy. I'm going to post his name. He actually was in the news around the same time. He assisted him with capturing the little girl or how to do it. They both had sick, twisted minds. A picture of him is on here as well. So these two were in cahoots. The other guy told on the youngster here that was 16 at the time that murdered Ashley. That's how he got caught. Now, over 24 plus years later, this man goes up for parole. While as he does this, if he was in court saying that he got life with no possibility of parole. But yet around that time, 24 years later, there's a governor that gave pardon to young murderers that become old in the prison. They felt, she felt that they should be given a second chance. Their life has changed. They were all good while in prison. They deserve a second chance just because they did a murder at a young age. Yes, that was out here in the state of Oregon. But we are here to give respect to Miss Ashley. Now, you might hear it in my voice. Yeah, it's kind of a jacked up thing to have someone at 16 murder anybody. I don't care what age you are, but a seven year old girl that did nothing but trust you the whole time. You used to watch her like everyone else. He was like a neighborhood babysitter, but he killed Miss Ashley. The guy that turned her in, that turned him in, was stating that he dreamt about doing this to a young girl. He was dreaming about that. They had conversations about that. Sick individuals. But yet a governor wanted to let him and whoever else that committed a murder at a young age out of prison because he thinking they won't do it again. If they were sick then, they sick now. That's the honest God truth. Nothing changes. Anybody can go into prison and act. Act a way just to get out. Everybody can act, but because he ain't killed nobody in prison, because he's on educational program or doing whatever, he's an okay person. Nah, B-U-L-L, bull on that card, right? Bull on that. Mr. Wade's heated about that. But we are here to give respect to Miss Ashley, me and Mrs. Crime. We're going to go to her grave. Stay tuned. Need to convince the pro board their minds have matured and they're no longer a danger. Now, in this story, some may find disturbing, you will only hear Patrick Harnett's voice after he exercised his right to not have his image recorded. He also changed his name in prison to Jesse Payne Rana. I can't stand you. What did you do to my family? During the online hearing, Ashley Carlson's mother told the parole board about the unexpected pain this hearing is causing. Every February, it's off for everybody. And I was, I was in a place where I was, I was at peace with this, and she's at rest. This is the grave of Miss Ashley Ann Carlson. And Tessa Marie is her mother, and she's on the headstone as well, but she's still living, of course. All respect to Tessa Marie. But Miss Ashley Ann was seven years old, murdered by a 16 year old. Wow, known to be the neighborhood babysitter, a trusting young individual, murders your child. This is a beautiful grave of Miss Ashley Ann. All respect to the family and friends. Tombstone Whispers give all respect. I hope you guys enjoyed this unfortunate story of Miss Ashley. I got a little heated, a little emotional. 
because a 16 year old can do that to a six year old, seven year old girl, but yet anybody can murder anybody. And then somehow find themselves to get away with it because you're on good behavior. Nah, they acting. Now, if he got out or not, it didn't state, but he got himself up for parole around after his 24th plus year of being in prison. But um, we're out here in the state of Oregon and we're out here to give respect to Miss Ashley. A lot more coming from a frustrated Mr. Wade. <laughs> Stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed our unfortunate story of Miss Ashley. A lot more coming from Tombstone Whispers. Right now we're out here in Oregon. Where are we at in Oregon? Astoria. Astoria, Oregon. I'm Mr. Wade and... Mrs. Crime. A lot more coming from Tombstone Whispers. Stay tuned.